Always exciting. Ooh, Ganondorf. All right. Yeah, that's some, some heavies going on over here. Yeah, Prana Plant's a heavy. Wild. That pot of plant is heavier than Ridley. What a horrible thing to know. And we're going into game one on PS2. I think we've exclusively seen PS2. This okay, okay. Starting some friendly fire. That's perfect. Yeah, that's what you want to be able to do in there, Comet. I think Comet has exclusively hit <laughs> <laughs> skills. <laughs> a bold strategy, honestly. I like to see where it's going. Got to build up his rage. Mm -hmm. The aura. Aura. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Young Bro, you aura. see Lucario anywhere in here? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's the new, new young way. <laughs> the new young way. <laughs> All right, yeah, here after that early friendly fire, these two have stabilized quite a bit. Mm -mm. No way, okay. I'd say that would have been some bunk DI if, <laughs> if he actually died. It's just strong moves. I like deceptively strong, honestly. I would not say that they're deceptively strong. You know what you're getting into when you fight against Ganondorf. You're about to fly. <laughs> you. That's true. I, I feel like that move uh, specifically. Like, I wouldn't be expecting to kill him as early as it does. Skittles oh, his other moves, absolutely. Not too long after Lucky loses his first. Yeah, he's too base. Oh, oh on pace. And wow. Okay. Well, Lucky and Common both losing a stock. How is the Ganon so lucky? <laughs> yeah, that, that's an achievement to be given Lana like that uh, as Fox using the upbeat, but it does keep Common just way too low. Nice call from Skittles. This up air isn't going to connect quite, though, but that was a great intention. Cool. Fading out the shine from, uh, from Common. Oh, there we go. An Revenge. Ama an amazing down air at ledge. This is this is kind of an even game. It, it was it was a bit dicey there for a second, but we are we are so back. <laughs> we are so back. Yeah, I think this should be quite close when we're pretty deep in the bracket at this point as well. Forward still so gonna put a lot of pressure on Comet, but comes finds his way back to the stage. Nice stuff from Lucky, keeping pressure on the shield and getting back to the stage. But now the up airs it look pretty scary. Gets out. The struggle of every heavy is trying to get off ledge. And once you can, you know, balling. But, like, most of your time in the game will be trying to get off ledge. Mm -hmm. Lucky almost losing his last sock. He is kind of on life support here at such a high percent. All right, Skittles losing his or his second stock. We are back to even stocks, but the percent is a bit different. Ooh, no, friendly fire right there. Oh, okay. Pretty even this heavy's on a lot of damage now. His common skills have really brought back. Oh no, a friendly lot fire of taking out Lucky. Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The friendly fire is not nearly as much of a concern for common skills, honestly. Where both the characters do like two percent per hit relative to <laughs> relative <laughs> to Ganon and Piranha, where, where both their moves do like 20. Yeah, yeah, where they're taking stocks with just about this is winner's quarters. Got, I just so realized. Sorry. Yeah, so we, we've gotten pretty deep here. I think we kind of uh, got lost for a round of doubles, unfortunately, so we missed that one. But I think we got lost for two rounds, maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to count. Does Kama's like, shirt say Duncan Diglett? Duncan Diglett. That's such a good shirt. <laughs> so, like, whack-a-mole, but it's Diglett's. I feel like that would be very satisfying. Would you hit a Diglett? Oh, I don't want to. He's very He's weak. so sweet. He's very frail. He'll die. <laughs> he will die. <laughs> Apparently, if he goes down the sunlight, he'll burn up. We are still what? on PS2. Yeah, that's in his Pokedex entry. Why would they say that? <laughs> <laughs> Game two. <laughs> we them, we can get them back to the Diglett cave. Stop capturing them and taking them out. Yeah, you are harming it's him. cruelty. Stop it. All right. Please don't be dunking them. <laughs> For just one dollar a day, you two can save <laughs> the Diglets from being taken out of the cave. Yeah. Hey, we can't do that. I think it's copyright. I, I can sing a little bit. <laughs> if I sing it poorly enough. <laughs> yeah, if, I, if it's unread. <laughs> if, it, if I get copywritten, that's a that's an honor. <laughs> really? You think I can sing that well? Thank you so much. Yeah. We are in a edge card. Oh, oh I did okay, not think okay, Skittles. Back to the actual game. I didn't think that uh, Ganon was going to make that back. He kind of got pushed under the stage by Piranha Plant's upbeat. But magnet hands. Magnet hands. If anybody's ever them. had magnet yeah. hands, it's Ganondorf. His hands are like three hands long. He got he got that Magnesis room from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, for real. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Not, not quite the communication they wanted right there. Uh, Skittles was looking to neutral. Skittles being the first one to lose a stock. 
Yeah, it was off of a couple mistakes from their teams. Shine and Forward Air, they're trying to maximize as much damage as they can put in on a There's short period of time. There's a lot happening. Oh, oh my, my good, god, a against Young Savage. That was a lot all happening at once. Young Savage being the last one with it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, finally taken away, right. though. And now Comet Skittles <laughs> just going nuclear, getting as much damage as they can, 67% basically, before Young Savage can even get back. And he's already into that mixer. Uppy is going to keep both of these stuck in the hit lag, or hit stun. Have ever just, like, seen how safe Young Link's Uppy is? It's pretty great. It's insane. Yeah, he's just full of just I nice think that's his least overall. safe move, and it's, like, Minus eight or something, so it's not even that unsafe. <laughs> Oop, coming in the bomb there, it's gonna keep him out of the fight a little bit longer, but it's actually putting him in quite the spot to find that jab string exactly what he need. Lucky gets an up air, but it's not enough at this point. Deleting He's gonna have his both the blue team stocks well. at once. Well, within rapid succession. Ooh. Comet losing his last, er, losing his second stock. Fox being a very light character. This is basically the lights versus the heavy. Oh my God, Young Savage having the perfect timing to find his. New, uh, side B out of grab and even the down air off of his side B. A good roll read, read coming from coming from Young Savage. Ooh, he's missing a couple punches there on Young Link though, but going under the away. boomerang. I'm, a, I'm a big out. I'm a big fan of this set. Both both teams are like going at it hard. I love that Lucky and Young Savage are so good about trying to find punishes off every time we see those grabs. The last match we watched, we kept talking about how grabbing an opponent can put you in a pretty dicey spot sometimes. Yeah, Young Savage attempting to punish the, the Young Link up B, but as I just said, very safe move. Ooh. They are. This, this is, this is kind of like a bullet hell right now. A lot, lot yeah. going on, and they're just trying to, they're just trying to live. Lucky has not had a lot of opportunities to buy space for himself. Uh, that's something that this character really excels at, is a lot of frame trap and a lot of, okay, uh, keep safe and holding advantage state, but they've just been stuck on ledge for so long, especially like right now, this whole conversation. Skills just had them stuck right there, allowing the grab yeah, to yeah. lapse in order to look for another opportunity there, and it's, it's taken away. Comet find the up smash. Red team had, Red team essentially just held stage control for the entire, for like the last part.